Every day, in organic chemistry classes, students are taught various chemical reactions. But few are taught how these reactions are used in the real world to create molecules that are worth billions and save lives. Join me in this series as we dissect the top 200 pharmaceutical sales list. We'll be exploring the syntheses of each molecule and discuss how they combat different diseases. Diclofenac, sold under the brand name Voltaren, comes in at 193 on this list with a revenue of $334 million in 2022 alone. It is a non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug which is used to treat pain and inflammatory diseases such as arthritis. It is administered as a topical gel and applied to joints such as knees and hands. It was originally approved as a prescription drug until February 2020 where the gel became available over the counter. The synthesis of diclofenac begins with an almond coupling between 2-chlorobenzoic acid and 2,6-dichloroaniline. Next, the carboxylic acid group is reduced using lithium aluminum hydride. This reaction involves the addition of hydride to the acid, forming an oxygen aluminum complex that can act as a leaving group and be eliminated. This results in the formation of an aldehyde, which can react with another equivalent of lithium aluminum hydride, forming the alcohol group. This group can then be substituted with a chloride group for a reaction with phenyl chloride. The alcohol first attacks the sulfoxide group, leading to the elimination of a chloride ion. This turns the alcohol into a good leaving group, which can be displaced by the chloride ion. The chloride group is then replaced by a nitrile group using sodium cyanide in an SN2 reaction. The nitrile group is hydrolyzed to form the carboxylic acid. The hydrolysis begins when a hydroxide ion attacks the electrophilic carbon of the nitrile. The resulting product can tautomerize to an amide, which can undergo further hydrolysis to form the acid, completing the synthesis. Orlanzapine, sold under the brand name Zyprexa, is used to treat schizophrenia and bipolar disorder. It is an atypical antipsychotic, meaning its mechanism of action is more associated with its effects on serotonin receptors rather than dopamine receptors like typical antipsychotics. Orlanzapine was discovered as an alternative to clozapine, which required blood monitoring due to its ability to deplete white blood cells. In this case, researchers used thiophene as an isosteer for one of the phenyl groups and also removed the chlorine substituent. The synthesis of olanzapine starts with a Gerald reaction to create a substituted 2-amino thiophene. The first step in this mechanism is a novonagel condensation between malononitrile and propaldehyde. Malononitrile is easily deprotonated due to the presence of two electron withdrawing nitrile groups, which stabilise the resulting carbanion. This carbanion then acts as a nucleophile and attacks the aldehyde group, undergoing an E1CB type elimination to form an alkene. A second deprotonation can then occur resulting in another carbanion that is stabilised through conjugation of the alkene and nitrile groups. Next, elemental sulphur is added. Although the exact mechanism of this is unknown, it is believed the carbanion attacks the sulphur, which can then insert into one of the nitrile groups. The final step involves a tautomerization to aromatise the heterocycle. Next, the intermediate is reacted with 2-fluoro-nitrobenzene in an SNAR reaction. The amino group of the thiophene is first deprotonated by sodium hydride, increasing its reactivity as a nucleophile. Cyclization can occur once the nitro group has been reduced using tin chloride under acidic conditions. The aniline group that has been formed can attack the nitrile group, forming an amidine group and closing the seven-membered ring. This can then undergo tautomerization to form the endocyclic amidine. The final step involves a substitution reaction using N-methylpiperazine as a nucleophile to react with the amidine group. Celecoxib, sold under the brand name Celebrex, is another non-steroidal anti-inflammatory drug used to treat arthritis. Unlike diclofenac, which we discussed previously, and is non-selective between cyclooxygenase 1 and 2, Celecoxib is a selective cyclooxygenase 2 inhibitor. Interestingly, the sulfonamide group appears to be crucial for selectivity, as replacing this group with a methoxy group switches the selectivity to a cyclooxygenase 1 inhibitor. 
The first step in the synthesis involves a Claisen type reaction using sodium HMDS as a base. The enolate formed attacks the carbonyl and the imidazole group acts as a good leaving group, which can be eliminated to yield the product. The pyrazole ring is formed through a condensation with a phenylhydrazine reagent. The regio chemistry of this ring formation is determined by the different electronic properties of the two carbonyl groups. The carbonyl group on the right, bonded to an electron withdrawing trifluoromethyl group, is more electrophilic than the other carbonyl. This results in the hydrazine first reacting for a condensation with this carbonyl group, establishing the regio chemistry of the reaction. After loss of water, a second condensation can occur to form the five membered ring. The mechanism is completed through elimination of water and subsequent deprotonation to yield the aromatized product. Pantoprazole, sold under the brand name Pantolog, is a proton pump inhibitor. These compounds reduce stomach acid production by irreversibly inhibiting the stomach's proton potassium ATPase proton pump. This reduction in stomach acid production is beneficial in treating stomach ulcers and acid reflux. Pantoprazole has an interesting mechanism of action, which was discovered during development when it was realised that active compounds were not stable in solution. This led to experiments that showed in weakly acidic environments, pantoprazole can rearrange to form a reactive sulphur species. The species can then form a covalent bond with one of the cysteine residues in the enzyme. To kick off the synthesis, the substituted pyridine is oxidised to the pyridine and oxide. This change, as well as the electron denoting methoxy group, allows this molecule to undergo an electrophilic aromatic substitution with nitric acid to install a nitro group in the 4 position. These types of reaction are difficult for standard pyridines due to their electron poor nature. This nitro group can then act as a leaving group and be replaced with a methoxy substituent. This intermediate is then subjected to a Brekelhyde reaction in which the pyridine and oxide is reacted with acetic anhydride. The mechanism of the Brekelhyde reaction begins with an acyl transfer from acetic anhydride to the oxygen of the N-oxide. The alpha methyl carbon is deprotonated by the acetate anion, preparing the molecule for a free free sigmatropic rearrangement, resulting in the acetylated methyl pyridine. The acetyl group can be hydrolyzed in the next step giving a hydroxymethylpyridine. Reaction with final chloride converts the hydroxy group into a chloride substituent, which is used in an SN2 reaction with this vial, joining these two molecules together. The final step involves the oxidation of the sulfur atom to the sulfoxide group using MCPBA. Thank you for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, check out the previous episodes through the playlist at the end of the video. As always, reference to papers used will be in the description, and if you have any questions, please leave them below in the comments.